I decided to jump to Koopa Village just so we could wrap up this bunch of favorites with Koopa Koot as soon as possible because we were gonna do this anyways. Also, I need to get something very important. Chalk! You! You tapeworm you! You lynchworm you! What is with your obsession with Koopa Village? You know, I had a feeling he was gonna show up, but now that he's actually here? I don't get you at all. What is with your obsession with Koopa Village? This is like the only place in this game where I can find you. Like, are you half Koopa? And I just don't know about that from your background or something? Why do you hang around this place so much? I can literally go to any other locale in the world. And I wouldn't find you at all. By the way, it's blue. And I wouldn't find you at all. Yet, you would come here, you would stay here, and just wait until I will come along while I'm doing one of the favors for that nasty old coot, and then you decide to make your presence felt? I don't get you. I seriously don't get you at all. As because of this, I haven't hit double digits in your questions by now. I thought I would at this point in the game. I mean, we're going to be approaching chapter 6 fairly soon. And yet, we're still only one-eighth through the amount of questions you need to do to get all the star pieces from him? That guy gets me so riled up in so many ways. <laughs> Anyways, greetings all, it's Blue Knight, and welcome back to Paper Mario. Previously, we went through the Total Tunnels, took on the biggest blooper of all, the Super Blooper, and we found a shortcut to Lava Lava Island. Furthermore, we did come across a shady figure in the tunnels by the name of Rip Cheeto. We could give you various items based on paying him a exact amount of 64 coins to get some of those uh, to get some of those items. Like I went over in the last episode, some of them can be helpful because a few of those he does have on hand do have star pieces included in the list that I did mention. So if you want to go for 100% turns of the star pieces, you're gonna have to pay my visit at some point. Today, we're here at Koopa Village because we're still continuing our between chapter business to see what's going on in the world now that we have completed chapter 5 and did away with Lava Lava Island in terms of the main story. And like I mentioned already, we're going to be doing that by starting the fears for Koopa Koot as soon as possible. And that Koopa Leaf I did get, that's going to be important for what you want to do for one of these favors this time around. I see you have misplaced my glasses, which is vexing. I suppose I must have dropped them somewhere. I haven't gone beyond the borders of Kuma Village, so logic suggests that they're somewhere in the village. Could you drop what you're doing to find them? Like, I have a choice at this point. I'm practically beholden to you by now. Because I always come back to do the good deed for you, because you're too lazy to go out and do it yourself. Granted, you're old, but that shouldn't be an excuse for you. Ooh, another leaf. I can store that for later. That should be an excuse for you to go outside and handle your own business. I guess I'll get another one of these just to have it for future reference. And there it is. Easy peasy. I'm gonna go store those leaves really quickly and then I'll go back to deliver that pair of glasses to the coot. By the way, you want to have the Koopa leaf along with a coconut, cake mix, and a lime on hand for the favors you're gonna do for Koopa Koot in this specific group. Uh, just to point that out there for any quick preparations you want to do to handle this round of favors. Almost. Okay, good. I was almost expecting to see that that scoundrel Chuck Quizzle to show up again. Just to further my point that he loves to hang around at Koopa Village so much for whatever reason. Hop and hurt, Blant! You're a master sloop, Mario! My ass has really gone downhill these last years. Now I can once again read books without any trouble. Technology's great, isn't it? Would you call glasses a foreign technology? I guess they can be. In a way, they could be like the closest thing we, closest thing we have to cybernetics in this world before, well, actual cybernetics were invented. Maybe he's not wrong about that. Uh, from a certain point of view, no, the Jedi are not evil in this case, but from a certain point of view, 
he could be right about that. To be honest, that thought has crossed my mind every now and again because I do wear glasses in real life. And I've always thought about if glasses are like the most basic form of cybernetics we probably had before that actual piece of machinery was invented later on. Huh. Never thought that Koopa Koopa of all things would make me ponder this much about a certain subject. <laughs> Especially one that I have some sort of connection to. Anyways, I've recently been dragging my shell recently. I need a Todd pick me up. Let's see. Oh, I know. A fresh lime should do the trick. And that's why I got a lime on hand. Remember, you gotta get this from the oasis back at, uh... Dry Dry Desert to get one of those things. Bye, spiny sparks! Are you for real, Mario? Mind blowing. Crazy! Mmm. Yo! What a solid lime! Don't put a spring in my step. You're a stand-up guy for doing it all with so many favors. This time I'll give you the special gift of thanks. Don't tell anybody, though. Reputation to keep. Now let's pick up three star pieces. Better him than going to Rip Cheeto, that's for sure. I mean, 64 coins per item? Man, that's such a huge amount after it stacks up after, like, three or even two. And the last favor we could do for now... I recently heard about a snack called a Kookie Kookie. Kookie Kookie. That's a bit of a tongue twister. I must confess that I have a sweet tooth, so do you think you'd track one down? One of the ingredients is the Koopa Leaf, but I have no idea what the other one is. Hurry up if you can, I need sweets. Post haste! Do I have your word, young man? Well, funny they just mentioned that, because the other ingredient we need to, f to create this cookie is uh, the cake mix. And if you got a couple of those bags from your first trip back at the toy box, then you should have those on hand or even stocked it in the item storage function. But before we could do that, we can head over to this house because this is where the final trading event will take place. It can be available to you as early as finishing chapter 5. And for this, you want to have a coconut on hand for where you want to go. Moving on. It's time for a big chance to win. Anyone who takes a coconut to the restaurant by the port in Toad Town will be eligible for a fantastic prize. Look inside the restaurant for a toad who's just a bit eccentric. And that... Uh, that... Uh, restaurant, of course, in particular, is gonna be Club 64. So we'll make our way over there and go deliver that post-haste, in the words of Koopa Coot. Here we are, and this is the eccentric toad in question. Give him a coconut. Congratulations! This is the honor for today. A yummy meal it restores 20 HP and FP and can be cooked up by Tasty. I wonder what you need to use in order to cook up that. It's good to know that you can have Tasty make that for you though. That's pretty interesting. And as long as we're here, we can... Chalk! Finally! About time! I guess I got some sense knocked into you by my words, because you're actually at Toad Town for once. Man, after all that time you've spent in Koopa Village, I guess you eventually got bored of it. Maybe you were speaking to the Koop for the longest time and you eventually got bored of him. Trust me, I would. How many members are in Koopa's family? Or Koopa's family? Let's see, there's... Goomba... Goombama, Goompa, Goompapa, Goombaria, and Goombario. So it should be six. At least I'm hoping it is. Alright, it is. Good. I was honestly expecting to get that wrong. Don't know why that's such a tricky question for you to answer correctly. You'd think it would be easy, but uh, you'd be surprised at how much trouble I personally have with memorizing the entire group of Goopapa's family, not Goopapa, Goobar's family. I guess it does belong to Goopapa, but he's not the one that's on the adventure with us, this he knows Goobario. 
So now I'm gonna head over to uh, Tasty over here. Hello, you sweet gal. I'd like to have something cooked up, please. I wish it was for me, but uh, I can't really say that. So what we want is the Koopa Leaf. I'm not sure how you can get a cookie mix by using a leaf and some cake mix, but I've seen Stranger Things happen. Stranger Things has my face being covered up by Watt, making it look like Watt is my head. We know Mario's not the, like the lightest bulb in the drawer, so to speak. <laughs> but he is the most courageous. And I say that after we got this cookie made. Makes Mario electric, sleepy, or transparent. Huh. Didn't know I could do that. And could restore 15 FP as well. I wonder if that's like some sort of a toss-up item, because two of those can sound like pretty good, but the sleepy thing, that sounds like it could be kind of hazardous to you if your luck is not pretty good. So back to the village we go. Keep making sure I can find Chuck around here, because I am pretty close to getting double digits with his questions now. Literally just one away from doing that. Lots of albino dinos! You're world class, Mario! So this is a cookie everyone raves about. Does look good. I think I'll save it for later. I'll give you this gift to show my gratitude. And the last gift for now is another coin. whoop de doo And that's the last favor that we can do for Koopa Koo for now. So where to go next? I know we haven't been to Mario's house in a while, so we might go there next. Uh, actually, we're, we're gonna make a quick stop at, at uh, Boost Mansion for a, a moment. Uh, because we want to go meet the owner of the item shop in this locale, whose name is Igor. Because I just remembered that we got a letter that's addressed to him. Uh, the item shop is a bit of a ways down. It's actually in the basement of this place. Let's get down there though. Then the trip will be worth it. Just say no to him. Eagle of Boo's shop, correct? The name's Paracary. Ah, deliver letters. I believe I have one for you. Hang on a moment. Another letter duly delivered. A postman's job is never done. A letter? Oh, right, an order list. Weird, this one's from Gusty Gulch. That's right around the corner. Can't they just come here? My thoughts exactly! Wow, a boo that actually shared my sentiments from what I said some time ago about those two groups being, like, so close together that they could, they could just see each other. Man, I guess I really am kind of a... a sidekick in some aspect. Not good, but it does happen from time to time. My motto is, for Boo to you with a smile. Take this for your trouble. Another star piece for us. Excellent. And now we can go to Toad Town to head to Mario's place. But before we do that, we can make another quick stop that's very close to on the way to Mario's house. Because we can make another letter delivery to Rusty. We got a letter for him some time ago. Or oh, actually, this is Dainty, not Rusty. <laughs> But I think we got one for Rusty too, or maybe I'm thinking of something else. Uh, anyways, we do have a letter for Dainty, not Rusty, here at Toad Town. He's just telling us about the Star Rod again. I think we heard this like the last time we talked to him early on in the game. Huh? Yeah, yeah, I know. I just wanted to let this to you. Oh no, this is Rusty. Man, what am I thinking? <laughs> you are Mr. Rusty, correct? Ain't fair carry out the little letters. I got one for you. Just don't deliver to him, please. Before I mix up his name anymore. <laughs> now let's do it delivered for the time of Now what could this be about? Mm -hmm. Oh, how exceedingly strange. It's from Lava Lava Island. Yes, yes. It's a question from a curious kid there. My mind is quite a demand. Thank you, Paracarry. I thank you for your quick delivery. I don't usually accept questions, but oh well. It's from a kid, and we must educate the younger generation. When I was a child, I had a curious mind as well. Still do. I'll get right on the answer. 
Thanks again for bringing this letter such a long way. Please take this as thanks. No star piece. Uh, let's see. Do I have another letter for Dainty? Now that I think about it, I'm gonna check my key items just to be sure. Yeah, we do. All right, the Kinder Toad Town Station. I forgot about that. We just haven't been there in a while that I completely forgot about that kid again. It was from the Red Yoshi kid that we did get a letter from him. After giving a letter to said kid, that we had to make an exchange back to Dainty. Now it's all come together. Now which one of these guys was it? Was it this kid again? Okay, now you beat up. You're scary. Let's be T Grow. We'll also turn into some scary monster someday. I highly doubt it. You don't have to worry about that anytime soon. Or if not ever. Yeah, fair care we know you deliver letters. Just do your job, please. Hey, deliver it to my face. You already had that happen once. I don't want that to happen again. Wow, that's a lot. You're much faster than the old postman, that's for sure. That Yoshi kid's a really good pen pal, huh? He writes really long letters. It sounds like there's always something fun going on over there. Where he is. Lucky Yoshi. We should write back again. Hmm, what do you think we ought to write about? Hmm, I don't know. Let's think about it later. By the way, I want to ask for a figure, Mr. Paracary. Can you deliver this? It's for a letter for Uncle Frosty of Starboard Valley. He's my uncle. He's up there taking care of lots of star kids. It sounds like he has a hard job. He has to chase them around all the time. Chase around star kids? That's gotta be quite a handful, a lot more than just chasing chase around late regular toe kids like these two. At least that's what he says in the letters he, letters he sends. Anyway, I wrote him a letter to take his mind off work. That's kinda nice. I know it's far from here, but I really appreciate it. Well, the first chance we get, we will drop this off to this frost tea, whatever, we're in this Starborn Valley. We can't get to that right now, but that's a place we'll have to keep in mind for the future. And now I'll make a stop by to Mario's house. I didn't expect to make that detour, but remembering what we had to deliver a letter to Dainty did happen to be pretty fortuitous that it did cross my mind. Not before checking out this sign. I almost forgot we had to check this board too, because it does update every now and then. Pleasant path to become a toll road? An enormous Koopa Troopa has parked himself on Pleasant Path between Koopa Village and Toad Town. The huge creature, who is apparently calling himself Ken C. Koopa, demands coins from every passing traveler. If the traveler refuses, this brute blocks away with his enormous body. We must stop this extortion as soon as possible. Any ideas will be welcome. For now, we should we would suggest that you take some coins with you when you go to Koopa Village. Well, we got a shortcut to get to Koopa Village, but I think we should pay this Ken C a visit and show him that extortion is not the way to get by in life. Angry Message Corner. I bought Princess Peach's photos by mail order, but they were a total ripoff. I paid 100 coins, but I only got three photos, all of which were horribly out of focus. They're sure sh sushi were beautiful. Give up my coins, you swiddler. I'm a big fan of Princess Peach. What I would like to know is where you got photos for Peach in the first place. And furthermore, who took those photos? And where they get them? And how are they able to get photos of Peach? There's a lot of questions there that's very eyebrow raising, let's say. A lot of questionable stuff for that little message corner. I did remember this very quickly. We could take care of as well. We can now dive onto that board now that we have sushi. Go down that uh, tunnel as well. But I'm more interested in this. The star piece we've been seeing that's been sitting here for so long. On the other side of this fence near that family of toads that resides in that house. It's been like teasing us for so long that we finally have a way to get it. And it feels kind of satisfying to do so. Just hate it when collectibles are out in the open, nagging us like that. It just makes it so irritating to me. Not only that, though, going down that pipe gets us yet another super block. This was one I was not expecting to come across anytime soon. I was just more focused on getting that star piece. Now I'm to upgrade, though. Let's see, fire shell, mega bomb, mega shock. What am I thinking? It's no question. Mega Bomb's the way to go. 
Volley power up on that to make her even more powerful than she already is. Oh man, Bob, if you weren't like our star power player up until now, you definitely are. You know what, Curse Beater, we haven't, we haven't been using her as much lately as I thought we would. I still recommend having Bobette as like a really huge power player if you need someone to deliver loads of damage because she is just really good at doing that. So we got that taken care of. Now we'll go to Mara's house and see what we could do about those letters that he's got in his box. As well as look at Luigi's diary. I almost forgot about that actually since we did it a lot that some time ago. But it still feels like really recent to me that we did got that bit unlocked. Put over here at Luigi. Luigi. Um, I thought you'd be out here. Oh, defending yourself. At <laughs> okay. Not sure how that middle block got there this time. I ain't gonna question though. Just smash it and go talk to my bro. <laughs> Oh, hanging out way up house. Joe was nice. Such a great view and everything. Uh, never mind. It's safe. That's a cool hammer you got there. I bet you can even beat up enemies with hot shells now. Yeah, we can. That's probably a small hint that even Koopas at this point now with your ultra hammer can't even stand up as much as they used to when it comes to like pure hammer attacks. So anyway, in this box of just the one from Colorado, fittingly enough. I wonder how that guy was able to find time to write a letter to him since we didn't see him not that long ago. Or well, we did see him not that long ago, rather. How are you, old bean? No, not smashing. Smashing, I trust. <laughs> I'd just like to thank you for helping with that nasty volcano business. Of course, I'm sure you're well aware of my own heroic role in the final fracas. I've lately worried about my dear wife, how she must worry about me as I brave danger. Perhaps it's time I return home for a while. Feel free to stop by for a spot of tea, Colorado. At least he had the decency to address himself this time because the last time we got a letter from him, he didn't do that and I found that to be pretty rude. <laughs> Maybe he was humble a little bit from Miss Star after our whole expedition on Lava Lava Island. Now onto Luigi's diary, and as usual, two more pages are chronicled in said diary. I heard that my brother went to Lava Lava Island on a tuna. Unbelievable. So unfair. I, I, I want to ride on tuna too. <laughs> That's it? Just him complain about riding on a whale? These are getting a lot more petty as time goes on. I mean, I still want Luigi to be with us on our adventure, but I think it's kind of late now since we already got five of the star spirits at this point. He's just complaining at this point. It's just the diaries become like his old complaint journal. <laughs> I heard that some Yoshi kids on Lava Lava Island got lost and my brother saved them. I bet Yoshi kids are just about the cutest things around. I'm a bit jealous of my brother. Yeah, this seems to be getting more and more Bitter as time goes on. Yeah, Luigi. I know I said time and again you could come out of the adventure, but dude, find a better outlet to relieve all that jealousy, man. I mean, your time will come when you get your own adventure. Just you could be more productive on your own free time. After all, you've got a lot of free time on your hands. I, I'm a busy guy. I'm like running around the place, doing stuff for people, delivering letters, you know, the whole hero business. You should be jealous. Of me? I should be jealous of you because you got so much free time on your hands right now. You can do just about anything you want. Okay. Now, what else can we do? I think we've done all we can do, actually. Yeah, I think that's all we've got accomplished right now. I thought I was going to be missing out something, but we've done all we can do that's uh, available to us uh, after complete Lava Lava Island. Uh, so I think this will be a good spot to stop things for today. Which means next time, I think I know what we could do next. We've been hearing about this Kenzie Koopa and his quote unquote road toll that he's taken on Pleasant Path. That's just 
the exit next to Toad Town if you want to go to Koopa Village the long way. We're going to pay that guy a visit and see if we can straighten out this whole extortion thing he's tried to implement on any passerby that he comes across. Maybe give him a good old bobbing or two on the head with an ultra hammer if worse comes to worse, which chances are it might. It might. Until we meet again, farewell for now.